Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So sometime last week, last two weeks, we talked about an amazing piece of software that was just a paper during the Seagraph Asia 2020. That tool was called Monster Mash and it was a sketch based framework that was designed for casual 3D users and anyone can actually sketch anything and convert it to 3D model. We talked about how this thing works. We talked about the big question that people get to ask, you know, how does it convert 3D object from a single point? And we also talked about what happens after this and what and what you need to know about it. But today we have some interesting news as that tool is now officially out. So if you would like to take a look at it, we are going to do a simple walkthrough. So just in case you want to use it, you can now find this. I'm particularly excited about this one because, you know, it's fun actually working with this. Take a look at some of the things that you can really do with it. You can animate, you can just do a lot of things. So with that said, let's take a look at how this actually works. So if you want to get this, link is going to be in the description where you can take a look at it. So if you simply go over to the link, which is in the description where you can get started, you would notice that the UI looks relatively simple. All right, it's extremely simple. There is no big deal about it. Right here is your new open, you can download stuff, of course, and save things if you want, draw, inflate, and animate. Here is your playback button, here is your pause, and here is your recording. Right here is where you get to play with the rotation, right here is where you delete and remove stuff, help, and press this down button. You also get to see things like background templates, in case you want to launch one in, and also template images. All right, so how does this work, okay? How this works is as simple as making a cycle. So we're just going to go ahead and make a simple cycle and you know that's it and next thing you might want to do is maybe draw a couple of feet so let's say we want to draw a feet like this and that is how easy it is once you do that hit the inflate button and you have yourself a 3d model 3d model from what a sketch a sketch unbelievable this is this is insane from a sketch you have yourself a 3d model and guess what if you press the button or if you tap on the, onto this what happens is if you hit the inflate button it knows that it needs to stay in front okay if you go back and hit the draw you can double tap and it turns red now this one is very you know this one is very exciting because once it turns red and you go over to the inflate button it makes a copy so now you have two fits all right this, this is this is beautiful so what and what can you do with this you can do practically almost anything you want you know i can also choose to throw in something like this so let's put a very tiny butt right there and we can close this butt so it now knows that you know this part needs to stay in front like we talked about hit the inflate button and it knows that that part needs to stay right there if you don't want to keep any of this you can hit the delete button and get rid of it now what else can you do with this you can go ahead and start doing some very interesting stuff if you would like to inflate and animate yes you can so you can hit on the animate button right now click here to create a constraint click here to make another constraint and if you're already in the world of animation you know how easy this is so right now you can now move this and animate this however you want at several points you might also want to select some parts like this and animate them this is also something that you can do so this is this is very nice so animating this is very easy and we're going to talk about it soon so there are certain things that you need to know because the system does a very good job like we talked about earlier and it knows where to join things and also cleans up open sections so you know when you're thinking about uh, animating things or probably you're thinking about how does this really really fuse things together it surely does know how to handle these things properly so there is a couple of possibilities that you can do with this and this tool is actually is actually something i think and i hope that several dcc apps should consider implementing so with a brand new scene what we can do is simple so let's say we have ourselves uh, let's go ahead and make that sphere one more time and for this i might just go through and make something as simple as that now what i would like to show you guys is if you choose to double tap and it turns red we can inflate of course this is not new of course it's not new we can hit on the animate button and within the animate we can now animate stuff how interesting is this so we can now animate stuff and how you can do that is by adding you know constraint points constraint points we can add a couple more so let's actually add two here so it's it's holding it fast and we can go in you know and start moving this 
and animating it and this is this is cool this is really cool all right so let me show you guys something else if you hold down shift you can pan across your viewport or you know your canvas all right so this is a can viewport since it has the draw and has you know the 3d object so it's more like a canvas and a viewport combined all right so how we can animate this is simple hit the record button right there and with that you can pick a point and you can do this now depending on how you move your mouse or your pen this is how this is you know this is how it's going to work so depending on how you do or, you know you move your mouse or your pen this is how this works so i can pause this or you know i can stop it select this press the delete button select this other one and also press the delete button so it has this blobby feel to how things actually work so you can actually get some very quick animation happening so i can go like one two and you can see it sort of distorts the mesh okay so if you press your playback button you can see it distorts the mesh and we can you know we can as well select press the delete button select press the delete button and get what we're looking for right here so depending on how or you know depending on what you would like you can make these animations very cool so we can have that and it simply connects it and we can have that animation playback if i turn on this button you notice that these ones go gray so once they are gray i will not be able to select them and this is best if you would like to preview the animation you're working on and if you turn this on you now have these ones to work with so we can position this like so and because you know we already have these characters like moving this way we can also do the same thing so let's add a joint right there or a constraint right there and i can select right here where we have a constraint hit the record button and also record alongside so we can have a recording that goes like this and like so so it connects it and like that you already have yourself working motion go over to draw implement whatever you want so let's say we want this character to have about two different sets of ears so we're just going to have that there and we can double tap make sure that you have going back and forth hit the inflate button it inflates it so let's see that all right so it has this uh, it has this ear thingy which is cool and then we can simply hit on animate and possibly press the playback button to see our animation happening so this is this is you know this is very very nice so for those who would like to try this link is going to be in the description where you can check it out it is called monster mash zone if you want to bring in your references you can click this button and you can bring in the references right here so you can click this button and bring in your template and your references and if you like to save if you hit this button you can save the project and you can also export a template for texturing now on hitting the export template for texturing this is going to download a png file for you at this point i spoke with the developer and he said implementation for things like fbx and also things like alembic are still in process so hopefully we're going to be getting those features very soon so it's going to make more sense because you can now export your file directly from here over to your dcc app of choice and start making some changes if you want to tweak them you want to rig them or you want them for your animation you can start working with them for those who like to see the announcement about this or you want to read more link is going to be in the description where you can check it out and a huge shout out to the creator daniel sikora for making this possible and for those who would like to create characters and make some very awesome stuff you can go ahead and start trying out this tool and tell me what you think about it in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace